for those of you that cannot install the game, you are experiencing a few different problems. So I'm going to click continue. I've got the launcher. It's going to sit here and detect the game version. It's already done the six gigabyte download of the game at this point. And if you are experiencing this problem where it either gets stuck detecting the game version or it goes into another loop to download the game again, or ultimately you get this message download required fatal to install game with this. Uh, this is actually a folder name here. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix this. So we're going to go ahead and click confirm. So in my case, it's already downloaded the game files. And so we're going to actually go into Explorer and go to the C drive program files x86. We're going to go into Warpath, Warpath game and temp. And so effectively, the launcher downloads a game pack zip archive into a versioned folder in here. So we have 614 and there's the zip archive. You can see it's 6.6 .6 gigabytes. I, in my case, I thought this was getting corrupted. I thought I had about an ethernet cable, about driver. Um, I have a Intel i9 uh, 13,900KF processor, which is impacted by the Intel microcode instability problem. And so I've been having all kinds of issues putting Warpath crashes, but uh, that also has, has included the inability to update the game or even install the game from scratch. And so what we have here is a fresh install of Warpath that can't actually completely install. So to fix this, there's a way to do it. In Launcher, you're gonna go up to the settings icon up here and you're gonna go to game resources. You may or may not have a installation path. If you do have a path, already you can generally do the same fix i did this before i reset my pc in this case is a fresh install warpath has never been installed on this computer, so it doesn't have a path and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take that game pack zip and you're going to extract the contents of that to a directory okay and i've already done that to my desktop and effectively the game pack is literally just a zip archive of the game files and so what we're going to do is we're going to take all these game files we're going to copy those and we're going to go two directories up to the game folder. And there's going to be some files here. And we're just going to replace everything in the game directory. And let that finish. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the game launcher. Go to game resources. We're going to search games. We're going to go, we're actually going to pick the game directory. So it'd be C program files x86, Warpath, Warpath game, game, like the folder. I'm gonna put the path in there and you're going to confirm. And now you'll notice that you have a start button. So we're gonna start and now you're gonna notice that Warpath launches. Would you look at that? That's what I've been going through. So hopefully that helps you guys. And I can say that Lilith customer support was not helpful. They actually had gotten me in touch with the uh, an email address that I was able to send them game logs to. And the real and they actually had sent me some a test version of the Warpath launcher to install manually and try, and it did not resolve my problem. And they wanted to do a screen share, which was very sketchy. They only wanted to do a Chinese screen share program. Uh, I did install it. They did connect to my PC. But uh, when I was scheduled with them at a set time to do that, all they did was connect and then disconnect. They never actually worked with me to troubleshoot the issue. And um, they would ask for through the email support, uh, they did ask for a variety of log files in the launcher. You can open that back up and we find the launcher logs. And uh, originally I had some CRC errors. There it is, CRC failed. So basically what's happening is it downloads the game pack zip archive. And when it's going to extract the zip archive, it's doing the CRC check, which is effectively a data integrity check. I'm assuming it's based on some kind of hash. I don't know, um, but it's a data integrity check. 
towards what I believe, and it's failing to extract the zip archive is what's happening. So it just can't complete the process. So hopefully Lilith can see this video and observe uh, what is happening and also how I fixed it. And uh, maybe they can look into that, but their install program definitely uh, is not in a working state. So hopefully that helps you guys. And if you found this useful, if it did resolve your issue, uh, give the video a like and comment below. We'll see you next time.